The gentleman from California is recognized. Mr. Speaker, it has been over 40 years since Taiwan last had a seat at the International Civil Aviation Organization. The volume of air traffic in and out of Taiwan's airports back then cannot be compared with that incredible volume of traffic, millions of planes a year that come in and out of modern day Taiwan. Under the visa waiver program, airlines have added even more flights in order to take advantage of greater demand for tourist and business travel from Taiwan into the United States. This number is only going to grow as more and more Taiwanese take advantage of the visa waiver program. It is time that we readmit Taiwan into ICAO so that everyone who boards a plane can have the utmost confidence about the safety of their trip. Aviation technology has progressed by leaps and bounds, and the idea that Taiwan cannot directly communicate with the United States or any other nation engaging in um, issues regarding air safety is not in anyone's interest. That's not in the interest of any nation. I urge my colleagues to join in supporting H.R. 1151. Taiwan is one of America's closest friends in the world. We share so much in common, including a steadfast dedication to democracy and rule of law and human rights, and it is time that we fixed this problem. So I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back at this time the balance of my time. The gentleman from California yields back, all time having expired.